The village of Megabdar is filled with green grass, yellow flowers, and large red mushrooms. Deer graze the fields as the villagers stay in their homes built of brick and iron. But alas, they do not rest peacefully in their abodes. Rather, they hide. Because in this otherwise idyllic landscape, there exists one source of treachery. Dragons. Large, scaly beasts with white eyes and sharp teeth, each one donning the same shade of bluish-white that helps them camouflage into the peaceful sky. And that is how one of the best dungeon masters I know set up his game with Dungeons & Dragons. The DM in question? Me. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye, for I come to you with today's quest. And as a dungeon master who lacks the ability to draw or animate, I yearn to bring my D&D games to life. Or at the very least, take these fantastical adventures and take them out of my head and put them on paper. Or a computer, where someone else can see them. And that is where AI comes in. See, I don't really know how to draw, but I kinda sorta know how to code. And with a little bit of API magic, we can pretty much bring our D&D games to life. We are gonna take a recorded game of Dungeons and Dragons, and then bring that game to life. First, I'll show you how to do that by coding with AI. Then I'll show you how to achieve similar results in a code-free way. I'm personally excited because using AI to bring a D&D game to life really feels like bridging the gap between sci-fi and fantasy. Stay till the end to see the full results. And as always, all the code and resources you need are in the description below. Okay, first things first, we need to find a D&D game to bring to life. Here, I'll consult the experts. Critical Role. For those of you who may not know, Critical Role is a series on YouTube that depicts the ideal version of what a D&D game looks like. The episodes are three hours long, but they they are extremely entertaining if you're a fantasy fan. So here's the plan. I'm gonna take one of the videos and download it. Most of any Dungeons and Dragons game is live verbal storytelling. So I'm going to extract the audio from the video and pass it through a transcription AI. Today, I'll be using Deepgram. Deepgram's AI will then transcribe the written audio into text. But that's not all. Since Deepgram is at its core a language AI company, its models not only know how to transcribe an audio, but those models can also summarize the audio and detect the major topics within it. Thus, we can take the audio's summary and key topics and pass it into an AI image generator. Today for our image generator, I'll be using Stable Diffusion, and in other cases, I'll be using a little something else. You'll see why in a bit. And once we link these AI models together, we'll have an engine that can turn any pre-recorded Dungeons and Dragons game into a series of cool images that can be strung together, as if someone went on the adventure with you and took photos. But since I don't want this video to be three hours long, let's start off by turning some key sound bites and clips into images. All right. Let's get to coding. So the first thing we'll need to do is find an episode of Critical Role to use. Then we'll download it and extract the audio from it. Simple enough, I've already written a blog post on how to do that. You can check out the code there, but for a quick recap, here's what the code does. We're using a package called YouTube DL, which is short for YouTube Downloads. We paste the URL to the video we want in here. Then we just run the code as is. After it's finished running, we should have an MP3 ready to go. But if you're curious to learn more about exactly what this code says, Check out the blog. And here is the resulting audio clip. Long, scraggly, dark hair with a shock of white going through the top of her bangs. She has a pulled back into a half-up bun with a rock chisel holding it up. Now that we have our audio, let's bring it to life. So the next step to our project is to take our audio and pass it into an AI that will transcribe it, summarize it, and detect the major topics within it. This is where Deepgram comes in. This notebook, which I've discussed in a previous video, has all the code we need to transcribe this audio. I can just copy paste this code into my IDE and we're ready to go. Know that you can also check out our documentation in our SDKs, in this case specifically our Python SDK, if you want to see other examples of Deepgram's API in action. But okay, again, let's read the code line by line. First, I'm going to specify my Deepgram API key. Again, as a you an API key is pretty much like your car keys, but instead of getting your car to run, your API key gets your instance of Deepgram's AI to run. And speaking of our instance of Deepgram, let's talk about the parameters we're going to use. That is, we're going to tell the Deepgram AI exactly what we want from it. Here, I'm setting punctuation to be true, since I want our transcript to have perfect punctuation. I also want to detect the topics discussed, so I'll set detect topics to true. And of course, we want a summary, so I'll set summarize to true. All right, up next, here, I'm specifying the mime type. Since we downloaded our audios as MP3s, I'm just going to enter MP3. But if you're working with an MRA, or a wave or any other type of audio file, specify that here. And finally here, I'm gonna specify the directory that I want my code to rummage through. See, this code is written such that it'll transcribe every file in the directory I specify, as long as it ends in the mime type I specify. So for instance here, my code will transcribe every MP3 file in this directory, which I named audios. Again, since I wanna start small, I'm gonna write this code and test it on only about a minute of audio from the full Critical Role episode. For the clip that we heard earlier, here's the transcription, here are the topics detected, and here's the summary that it produced. And now for the next fun 
part. We're gonna use the Stable Diffusion API to turn this text into images. Again, for this part, it's pretty much the same formula. I just followed the Stable Diffusion documentation. And it's pretty similar to using the DeepGram API. The steps for using the Stable Diffusion API are as follows. Create an API key and plug it in. Then I'm gonna copy paste code that I found in the documentation and put it into my project. And upon reading the Stable Diffusion documentation, I learned that this is the line of code where you're supposed to input the text that tells Stable Diffusion what you want it to produce. For our case specifically, I'm gonna be passing in a concatenation of the summary and the topics detected. We've essentially connected two different AI models together. The result is an even bigger AI model. That is, we've connected a speech to text AI with a text to image AI in order to create a speech to image AI pipeline. And the results look like this. You see a youngish looking woman. Her skin is pale and her eyes are big, a little bulbous with dilated pupils, almost doll-like. You can see she's very thin, gaunt, long scraggly dark hair with a shock of white going through the top of her bangs. She has a pulled back into a half up bun with a rock chisel holding it up. Tattered scraggly clothes, a black skirt and a blood maroon blouse. And for comparison, here is the actual canonical image from the Critical Role wiki of this character. And here again are the AI-generated images on the right. While the AI is missing a few details, for example, the shock of white in her bangs, and the stone pickaxe through her button, I gotta say, it's pretty close. That being said, it is the little details that make a D&D campaign feel alive. However, we're certainly limited by the capabilities of Stable Diffusion at this point in time. It'll be a few months or years before we get an AI to catch all those little details in the same way that a professional graphic designer would. But for now, this is some of the best we got. And note that AI is not meant to replace graphic designers. But for people who can't afford to commission artists, or people who can't draw, aka me, these AI tools are a pretty decent alternative. Also, one more note. While I did use Stable Diffusion to create the deer images and the dragon images at the beginning of this video, I did find that Stable Diffusion wasn't amazing at creating fantasy characters, especially ones that look human. See these meh images on screen? That's Stable Diffusion's results. The images you saw earlier were produced by an engine called Deliberate by Stable Horde. Shout out to Patience AI for pointing out these resources. But nevertheless, when it comes to the world of sci-fi fantasy, I highly recommend exploring which which engines are best at creating different types of images. At this point, I do believe that Deliberate was trained to be a really, really, really good sci-fi and fantasy image generator. But overall, I was very happy with the results. Again, link to all code as usual is in the description below. Oh yeah, and one last thing. If you wanna achieve similar results without having to code whatsoever, I recommend checking out API Playgrounds. Both DeepGram and Stable Diffusion have Playgrounds. Playgrounds are basically interfaces that let you test out what the AI is capable of doing without having to write any code yourself. So to replicate replicate the pipeline that we outlined in this video, you can simply first take your recorded D&D game and place it into this page. This is the DeepGram API playground. By default, the playground will transcribe your audio for you. But since we want to summarize the audio and detect the major topics, we can just check the boxes labeled summary and topic detection. Hit run and your screen should look like this. Now just copy paste the summary and the topics detected into this page. This is Stable Diffusion's API playground. And here you'll generate images. Again, these results are all right. I still recommend using Stable Hordes deliberate, but as you can see, you can attain some pretty decent results without having to code. You'll just have to do a bit of digital labor, as opposed to writing the code that carries all that out for you. To each of their own, consider this an alternative quest. And thus, adventurers, our journey comes to an end. We move forth towards newer and better days as stronger heroes than we were before. May we ride off into the sunset with satchels full of gold, stomachs full of food, and the friends we made along the way. And as always, Follow DeepGram for more AI content.